Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, uh, the server room after hours. And so today's episode, uh, today's show was uh, episode 11 of the server room, and we was dealing with software update point within SCCM. Again, I upgraded my SCCM to the latest and greatest technical preview build, which I think is 1706. And I was having issues with WSUF syncing updates to our software update uh, library within SCCM. Uh, I stayed after hours. I, I think I stayed maybe four or five hours after the show and I figured it out. And I'm going to tell you guys how I did it. Um, so the first thing that you need to do is open up your server manager or well, what I did was I opened up my server manager. I went to manage within manage. I went to remove roles and features. Uh, I went to next and from here I went to next again and I just basically picked WSUS update services and I completely removed it from my server, my SCCM server. Once I removed it within my SCCM server, it's going to want you to reboot. So do a reboot. Now, the next thing that you need to do is when we first installed WSUS, it wanted us to pick a path to drop the updates in. Within my C drive, I had WSUS. So I changed it to WSUS content. So I completely deleted what I did in the past with you guys. And I recreated it again, and it says WSUS content. Now, the next thing that you need to do is delete the database. Remember, we have two virtual machines. We have our SCCM with WSUS. And then we have our database on a separate virtual machine. Now, this virtual machine, I had, uh, you know, the WSUS database, so I completely deleted it. And I went back inside the server manager, and I basically reinstalled everything, and I told WSUS to talk to this database, and it created everything. And then it did its finalized configuration, and that's it. But there's a catch for this stuff to work correctly. It's weird. Because you don't really need to open up the WSUS console. You have to open it up. Uh, I created a post a while back. And I have pictures. I have pictures of what you guys need to do. Now when you open up your WSUS console, you're going to get this window right here. Which wants you to start the WSUS config wizard. So follow it. And when you get to the point that you need to start the synchronization, start it and then close the window. Now, another thing that I noticed within the SCCM server with WSUS was within the services app, uh, the Windows update was set to manual triggered. I changed it to automatic because I wanted to start right away. It's still set up to automatic triggered because the trigger part is what SCCM is going to trigger by itself. It's going to automatically start it up for us. But once I did that, I found something a little weird because remember, together, we only saw Windows 7 patches. We didn't see the Windows 10 patch. So if we go back into uh, administration and we go inside uh, sites, we right click on our site and within there, we go to configure site components and software update points. And then from here, we're going to go inside products. We're going to go all the way to the bottom and then we're going to see something pop up and I was super excited to see this and where is it? Where is it? Bam. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that guys. Windows 10. So Windows 10 products synchronized. So that means I didn't really need to get those KB files installed within my server. So that's one less headache. Remember those two KB files that I mentioned during the show that I thought it was going to cause a problem. That wasn't the pro That wasn't the issue. So once I got my WSUS started syncing and it started working, all this stuff started populating, which is great. Now, looking at the logs, the first log right now is our wsyncmanager.log. As you guys can see, it's already syncing into our software library node within SCCM. Uh, I was super excited to get this up and running. Now, this is this log right here. Let me close this up. And if we go inside the WCM, one of the things that you need to look for is this guy right here, the state two WSUS config success. We're using WSUS to push out our configuration manager client. If I do a find and I do a configuration manager client and hit next or hit find, 
Look at that. It found the published clients and it synced it up. How awesome is that? So next week when we do uh, episode 12, uh, we're going to check on that Windows 10 machine that has the group policy that we set together during the show. And we're going to see if the client is part of that uh, Windows update. And then we could push it out together. So that's another thing with WCM. Next thing is with your WSUS control, this right here tells you that I established the connection. I was able to establish the connection within my SQL database and WSUS with no problem. So that wasn't the issue. So I was happy about that. And then another thing that I forgot to tell you guys is you need to go inside your server and site system roles. You need to pick your site and then you need to remove your software update point. Remove it from your SCCM. So the process that you need to do is the following. Remove the software update point from your SCCM. Boom, got that done. Go inside your server manager within your server. Remove WSUS. That folder that we created together that we told WSUS to drop the downloads in there, delete that. Go inside your database, delete the database of the WSUS, okay? Once you have that done, reboot the machine and what you need to do is recreate everything from scratch. Once you have your WSUS installed, your WSUS is talking to your database and it established that connection with no problem. The next thing that you need to do is open up the console within your server that has the WSUS. For me, it was the SCCM server. So once I had it up and running, I configured it to the point that I needed to initiate the synchronization. I started the synchronization and then I closed the box. Once I closed the box, everything started kicking in and eventually within your software library and all software updates right now is returning the list items. You should see Windows updates uh, pop up, which is a good thing. And also, if you are using Server 2016, uh, with SCCM, you don't need to push out those 2KBs that I mentioned during the show. Like right now, updates are still being pushed out. I already see uh, Windows 7 stuff, so we have a, a lot to go. I think it synced up maybe 6,000 updates. Yeesh, that's a lot of updates. So I'm just going to let this run. Again, this is the server room after hours. We got it up and running. We got WSUS up and running. We have updates being pushed out to our all software updates i'm i'm excited about that and i catch you guys uh next week at the server room